What's going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to add and edit text in Camtasia Studio 9. So this is a really basic tutorial and I will be starting off basic tutorials on this as this is my first tutorial on Camtasia Studio 9 and I've done the same thing with Sony Vegas so we will progress into more advanced things. So to get the text first of all we need to come over to annotations and as you'll see it says style and we get these styles we can use. If you want to see all of them of course you can select all and of course we have the basic. Now you'll see they do come with shapes. If you don't want it with shapes, you can also see here under the basic tab, if we double click this, it gets added to our track here. So we get the text in the middle and we're just gonna double click this and we can just type out whatever we want to. Now yes, it is shrinking. As you can see, this box, we can expand it out. And a good thing I actually like about Camtasia, unlike Sony Vegas, you can snap this into the middle so you know where the center is. And then over to the side, as you'll see, we can choose the size. Now yes, this is the maximum size unfortunately, however there is a way to make it bigger which I will show you later on. And over here is the font, so any font you've downloaded on your computer in the past, they will all be here. For example, Abelix Pro, I downloaded this and it's showing up right here as well. And then of course you get the style of fonts. Now remember the fonts you install, not all of them do come in bold, not all of them come in italic. So for example if I put bold and italic, this won't change and the reason for that is because I didn't install a bold and italic and to be honest it's already bold so I'm not too sure if they even offer a bold option for this font. And then next it says style we can underline it and we can also put a line through it. You can have both on if you want to completely up to you and then we also have alignment so if I expand this box out and now as you'll see alignment if I put it to the left the center the right and then we can have it at the top the middle or the bottom. So it's really good and it's really good to be very accurate. And then of course the final thing if you just double click you can change the color of your text right from here. Now you can just go ahead and pick colors from here or if there's a color in the video that you like you can come to the color picker over here and you can simply simply select a color that you like. So for example over to this side I'm gonna pick this blue. If I left click it for some reason my OBS comes up, oh uh, well, um, if I left click it, as you'll see, it's now picked that exact same color to come onto our text. And then we're going to come up to visual properties. Now as you'll see, this is where you can actually put your text bigger. So it says scale, as you can see, we can bring this up and it will make the text bigger than before. We also get control of the opacity, so imagine if there is a video behind that, it will give a, an illusion like it is transparent text. So that's what you can do there. Now as you'll see underneath it says rotation and position. Now one thing I do dislike about this, we have to manually input the amount. Whereas maybe in other software we can simply just rotate this button here and it will rotate for us. So for example this is rotating the Z, so if I put this to 90, as you'll see, uh, I put 9, if I put this to 90, there we go, it puts it to the side. And of course control Z is to undo anything. This one we can have the Y angle and this one again you can make pretty cool effects like that as you'll see. And for example if your control Z is broke on your keyboard for some reason you can also come here and as you can see it's a revert button so it puts it back to normal. And the final one is an X so if I put this to 50 as you can see the text is facing down and of course if you put it to minus 50 the text faces up and you can play around with these settings. Now we also get control of the position, so if you want to be really precise where the text is, this is where you'll put it. Again, you have to manually input, so I'll put 150, as you can see it puts it to the side. Now we're going to press it with the Y, so it's going to put it up, so we'll go to 50, just puts it up a bit. And then of course the Y, 50, which brings it a bit closer. Now the final thing is the drop shadow. Now I actually like the way you can edit the drop shadow, and as you'll see over here it says angle. So we can pick really precisely where we want this drop shadow to be and we don't have to input it over here. Of course you can get full control and pick where you want it but this is just a good feature they have added. Over here is the color so we can come here and we can pick the color of the uh, backdrop or the drop shadow. So now as you'll see if I put the offset up a bit, offset will expand where the shadow is. So I'll put it there for now as you'll see we'll change the angles just using this and just like that we're able to change it and then of course if you want to have free motion where you want it to be precisely you can pick by doing this and it gives an illusion of 3D text. Then we have the opacity, now this is the opacity of the drop shadow so as you can see if I put it all the way up 
or all the way down it just goes off screen and then we can also blur it so it can be super sharp like that which gives a bit of a 3d text illusion or we can have the blur up and it'll create that blurred to me does look pretty good and then a really good feature i think that's been added is ease in now this is for the drop shadow so if i put this up to one second and then the ease out i'm going to put up to one second as well and if i play this through now as you'll see the blur fades in and you'll also fade out so if you want to make an intro pretty cool way to make one but that is how you edit text in Camtasia Studio 9. Hopefully this tutorial has helped you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and peace.